In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing some pretty cool secret locations that you guys can get to in GTA 5 Online. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get it started. One of my personal favorites is the rooftop rumble one. You guys can climb on top of this wall right here and walk forward with a gun and start spamming jump on your controller or on PC and make your way up inside the roof. One of the best parts is you could fully shoot right through the roof onto the ground right below you. Now you can do it anywhere below you which is awesome. The downside is you can't shoot out of any of the walls. You can shoot out of the roof and there is one wall that you're actually able to shoot out of. As you guys can see I'm not able to shoot the wall right here which does suck but if you make your way over to the left side of the actual garage and you jump right over here you'll be able to shoot out anything that you want inside of this garage which is pretty awesome it's honestly one of my favorite secret locations to go to because if you have a wanted level you could literally go up here and just kill every single cop that comes near you and it's really really fun to do you should definitely try it out and you can also do this in the actual rooftop rumble mission it's just it would be very very hard to pull this off considering all of the enemies are right below you so that would kind of be a little challenging but if you're already up here then maybe try starting the mission while you guys are up inside of the roof and then you might actually end up spawning up here when you guys start the mission and then you can kill everybody right away. By the way, if you guys play any of the games shown on screen, be sure to check out Digazani down below in the description and get 10% off anything you order by using code FROLIX. Next up is going to be the Tinsel Tower secret location. Now there's like three different things you could do inside this building, which I really like. First thing you need to do though is get an insurgent, park it right here, and get a streetcar and park it right in front of it. Then jump and fall in between the wall and the actual insurgent. And if you guys do it correctly, eventually you'll get pulled up inside the building. The best way to do it is to make sure you fall towards the wall and then you guys will be good, just like how I did here. And you guys can see I'll be pulled straight up. Now that I'm actually up here, you guys want to just run over here. Now, if you run straight to that platform, you'll be able to go into some like God mode area and kill everybody. But this is for secret locations. What you guys want to do now is actually jump and pull your parachute right away because you can get to a secret apartment underneath the map. Now right away you won't actually fall, if you keep walking forward though you'll end up actually falling, just pull your parachute right away and then just start casually going down slower and slower and just hold it up so you're actually going super super slow while you're parachuting under the map and eventually you'll end up seeing an apartment in the distance. As you can see, the apartment just appeared, so all you want to do is just keep going down nice and slow, go at different angles, and just try to land on top of the actual apartment. And then once you do, you guys actually can go in first person mode and then see the entire inside of the apartment. Now this is actually one of the apartments in the game, so if any of your friends own this apartment, you might be able to see them walking around inside. I'm not 100% sure about that, I've never tried it, but it is one of the apartments in the game, and I believe that is the reason why it's here. So if you guys wanted to, you could try to do that. Now the downside is you can't actually go and walk around inside the apartment, you can use your guns on top of it, and be careful if you guys walk over to right where I am and you fall down here, there is no way for you guys to actually get back up on top of the apartment unless you use the up and atomizer and get lucky. But of course, the only way you can actually get out of this area is if you just jump off the side of the map and then you will fall to your death, but not really because you'll just be teleported back up to the top. The second secret location or the third secret location in Tinsel Towers is if you do the exact same thing, like I said, you can get behind the glass doors right here. All you guys want to do is just aim your gun and then just kind of walk into it and try not to fall off because where you guys see the actual stone end, that is where the stone ends. So if you guys were to actually walk back any further, you'll fall off the map again. But now you guys are inside of here. You could shoot out of the glass if you wanted to. I'm not sure if you can be killed. You most likely can be. It's not a god mode thing or anything like that, but it's just pretty cool because you're behind the glass doors and everybody else is going to be like, how the hell did you do that? For the next few that we're going to be talking about, you will need to break the back door of the insurgent off. Now, I'm not sure if I share the location of where this is, but if you guys don't know how to do this, all you need to do is just search up how to break the back door off the insurgent on YouTube and you'll find a video on how to do it. It's pretty easy. But once you guys do do this, all you want to do is come to this location and pretty much just jump into the door from this staircase. And eventually, after you do this a few times, the door will just pop open. Then from that point, you guys actually need to drive the insurgent forward a little bit and then shoot the door off with an assault shotgun or an assault rifle or something like that so the door fully pops off of the vehicle. 
The reason why we have to do this is so we can access some pretty cool locations. You can access a bunch of spots by doing this. So one of the first ones that we're going to be going into is this really cool one that we used to go into on PS3 that is now no longer working. But if you guys take the back door off the Insurgent, you're able to do it. It's located right over here on the east side of the city. All you guys want to do is park the Insurgent just like I did on the side of this wall. And once the back door is off, all you need to do is run to the back of it and jump up inside the back of the Insurgent, run forward, pull out a gun, then jump up again and pull out a gun again and you'll be inside the Insurgent. From there, go into first person and just simply walk forward while aiming your gun and then stopping aiming your gun and then doing it again and again and just doing that over and over until you guys actually get pulled through. It will take a few tries. The first time I did this, I got through on the first try. When I tried to record it, it took me about 10 minutes to get, but then I finally got in. All you need to do, like I said, is just walk forward and you'll be pushed right inside of the bridge. Once you guys are in here, you guys are gonna have some fun. Just make sure you stay on the actual pavement or you will fall off the map. But once you're in here, you could shoot out everywhere above you and just cause some mayhem. It's really fun to do. Everybody used to do this on PS3. It was hands down one of the most fun things to do in the game. And now you guys can do it on PS4 and most likely on PS5 and Xbox Series X, as long as your Xbox doesn't catch on fire. I seriously cannot believe the new Xboxes actually start smoking when you turn them on. Like, I mean, it's your own fault though, you bought an Xbox over a PlayStation. But anyways, the next location is going to be at this building that's been under construction for the longest time. You guys can literally just land a helicopter right on this platform right here on the north side of the building. And all you guys want to do is just make your way to this spot. And once you're here, just walk forward and you'll fall inside the building. Right here, you will not die at all because you keep hitting things all the way down. But once you get down here, you guys can also have a lot of fun. Number one, you can explore this entire floor. Number two, there is one spot, which is right here, where you could shoot anything out of here. Nobody's going to be able to kill you just because they won't be able to see you. And you could shoot RPGs, grenades, literally anything you want. There is one thing about this spot, this is the only spot that you could do this. If you go anywhere else in the building, you will not be able to do this. So just be careful, only do it at this exact location. If you do it anywhere else, you will blow yourself up. So just be careful of that, but you are able to shoot guns out of anywhere in this building, just not explosive ones, except for this spot. Next up, you guys can actually access the inside of the Humane Labs, which is pretty awesome. Now, there is only one way you can do this now. The other way got patched. You are actually able to still get inside, but you're not able to go in because you'll die instantly and be teleported back outside. But at this spot, you're able to do it. You want to do the exact same thing that we did with the Insurgent. Make your way inside. You will hit this one on your first try, guaranteed. And all you got to do is just walk towards the gate. Now, at first, you won't be able to see anything, so just start running forward. And once you run forward, make your way up on top of this, like, cement block area. And once you're up here, when you're in first person, you'll be able to see everything around you, which is awesome. And then you can go and explore the entire Humane Labs. Now, this is the part that you would see, I believe, in about half of the heist, I think. But the other part that you would see where you're actually in like the sewer that goes out to the ocean, you're not able to access that. They did actually patch that. You could still get into the location, but the second you get there, you'll be teleported out, which sucks. But you can actually go and explore the entire Humane Labs, and I thought it was pretty cool. This next one, you will need a Deluxo or an Oppressor. Make your way over to the west side of the map and come on over to this suburban clothing store. Go and grab your Deluxo, put it in hover mode, or grab your Oppressor and just fly up inside the roof. And once you get up here, all you want to do is turn off hover mode and just drive forward. You will fall through the building, and when you do that, then turn hover mode back on, and then you can fly around underneath the map. Now, there is a downside to doing this. If you do this for too long, you will automatically die. If you go too far into the city, you will automatically die. If you go anywhere where there is water, you will automatically destroy the vehicle and you'll be teleported back up to the top of the map. So just be careful not to drive into the water or into any pools like I did right there because you could see my personal vehicle got destroyed. Now I'm not going to go over everything you can explore because you're under the map. You can explore pretty much anything you want as long as it's in a specific area. Like I said, if you go too far into the city, 
you guys won't be able to do anything. You'll just die instantly. And if you guys actually start up a mission like a Titan of a Job, you'll be able to go anywhere you want, which is pretty awesome. But like I said, you're under the map and in free mode, you can pretty much go to a lot of places. Like you guys saw, I just went inside of that sewer thing. And of course, if you guys make your way over to like a beach area or something like that, literally just drive straight into the water. Don't try to land on top of the water. I've tried that a million times. And literally every single time I did it, I got pulled straight back up onto the top of the map. It's very annoying. So just fly or drive straight into the water, climb out of the vehicle, and then swim up and you'll be underneath the beach. And if you go forward enough and tell your friends to come and see you, they will just see your head sticking out of the actual sand, which is pretty awesome. So you guys can really have some fun and mess around with this. And honestly, it doesn't really matter where you guys go into the beach area. Another cool thing is if you actually call a boat pickup, they will actually be spawned underneath the sand as well. So then you guys can just get inside of there and have some fun and drive around in a boat underneath the water or on the water underneath the sand at literally every single beach across the map. Next up, you guys are gonna wanna make your way over to the FIB building right here at this exact spot. Once you're here, grab an oppressor or a deluxo or a buzzard, make your way over here and fly straight up inside of the building. Now, this used to be so awesome because in free mode, you could do this and you wouldn't die instantly. But if you guys are in free mode, what will end up happening is you will literally die instantly. If you try to fly up inside the FIB building, you'll either hit an elevator shaft and get stuck in there like I did right here. But if that happens, just fly straight back down, like literally hold R1 and you'll go back down to the ground. And the other downside is if you try to go underneath the map, then you guys will just die instantly, which is one of the worst parts about this. But that lucky for you guys, there is a way to bypass this. The only downside is you cannot be in free mode. So if you guys did want to do this, you're going to need to start up the mission, a Titan of a job or pretty much any mission in the entire game that lets you just spawn right where you were. So I would just suggest starting up a Titan of a job like I did and then do the exact same thing again. Just make your way up inside the building and then just go down onto the ground and then you guys can go and teleport or not teleport, visit any location you want to. There is so many places you can go. So go and explore around the map. If I were to tell you guys every single one, this video would be over two hours long. But of course, I am gonna show you guys some of them, like for instance, the Pacific Standard Bank. There is a vault inside of this bank, and if you guys just fly in the correct spot, you'll be able to see the vault. And all you need to do is fly inside of there, and then you guys just need to shoot a gun at the door or kick it, and it'll just open right up. The best part about this spot is you could just hop back on your oppressor or in your deluxo, and then just leave without any issues. The walls won't stop you or anything like that. Once you get in here though, you won't be able to see anything. You'll know you're in there because you won't be able to go down anymore. Then just click triangle to get off your bike or whatever vehicle you're in. And then boom, the vault's gonna be right in front of you and you can do your own little mini heist, even though there's nothing you can steal or anything like that. It's still pretty cool because you can access the actual vault, which you can no longer access in free mode. I really don't know why these all get patched. Like they really don't harm the game at all. People just wanna have fun and explore the map. Another really cool one is the Bahama Mama's nightclub. You guys can easily get into this spot too. All you need to do is make your way over to the actual location of where it is and then just fly up inside the building. Just be careful not to click triangle too early. You guys just want to gas it straight into this building and fall off your bike. So then you guys can just be in here and chill. The best part is you can get in here with your friends if they're in the mission with you as well. There is no way to do it in free mode because by the time you get to where it is once you're underneath the map, you will not be able to get there because you're just going to be dead already because that's the way free mode works. But it does kind of suck that you have to do it in a mission, but it is still cool. If you guys have never explored it, go take a look. And there is countless other locations that you guys can go and find. So start up the mission. There's no time limit or anything like that. Go around the map, try to find some cool stuff. There's a comedy club near the police station. You can actually access the inside of the police station as well and a bunch of other places. Go check them out. There's so many places you can go and explore. Making our way towards the end of the video, if you guys do enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. For one of the last ones we're going to be taking a look at, it's going to be the inside of Franklin's house. It's pretty simple to get into. Make your way over to his house and stand right here so you can see yourself in the mirror. Once you do that, go into the pause menu, go to play jobs, rockstar created, missions, start up a titan of a job, and then once you actually load into the actual confirmed settings screen, just back out of the job 
and you'll notice you're on the other side of the glass and your inside is house. One way you can know this works is if you can actually see the inside of the house in the job startup screen and then you guys know you did it correctly because now you're inside and you can go and explore Franklin's house if you guys have never done it before. And finally, the last one in this video is going to be located right here near the Tinsel Towers apartment building. Just land on top of it, but because it's GTA, some dumbass shit will happen and you'll fall off the side of the building. If that happens, just go and grab a car and climb up the side like I'm doing right here. And then just climb up the ladder and once you do that, make your way to the top of the building and you'll see a little pine cone shaped, or not pine cone shaped, a cone shaped little building thing. And once you're there, all you need to do is take out a gun aim and then jump on top of it and once you do that you'll be able to actually go inside which is pretty cool this has been working for the longest time and it's one of the coolest things to do because number one some really soothing music plays because you're at this specific location i'm not sure why that happens but once you're in here nobody can kill you nobody will know where you are you're fully invincible and you can literally shoot out of every square inch of this spot and if you wanted to exit this area, all you need to do is just walk backwards and get back on your oppressor or whatever vehicle you have or just jump off and pull your parachute and then you guys can have some fun. Anyways, that is going to wrap up the video for today. I apologize for making it so long, but I hope you did enjoy it. If you do want to see more secret locations, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.